Good YouTube. This is Dawn from Dare to Dream Romance with another project. This time it is with Alter Compositions and this is my first time trying it. My daughter is in college and she wants to be an interior designer. So uh, I called myself right before school started trying to um, get some regular composition notebooks and decorating them and this is my first time trying it. So I had to do a lot of fussy cutting so it was kind of interesting. But anyway, the first one that I did um, was for her materials and I think fabrication class or something like that. And I all of them have been Mod Podge. So what I did was I went to Lowe's and I got a whole bunch of stuff. Everything free that you can get away like paint chips and floor designs and ceilings and cabinets and carpet and you know window treatments. Anything I could find free handouts. I went and got them. I came home with a stack of stuff like this. I was surprised they let me walk out of the store because it looked like I was still in a notebook or something. But anyway, um... So the first notebook I did, this one is more detailed, and I think I had more um, problems doing this one. I started out, I craft papered all of them at first instead of just gluing it onto the first cover, which was more work. But anyway, so, but I thought I was going to make it stiffer or whatever, but next time I just would just use pattern paper, which is what I did on these three. But anyway, so I um, put craft card paper down, and I put ribbon. And then also, I just fussy cut a whole bunch of stuff. I made a couple stamps. Um, it says, laugh, create, and smile. And it says, live, be bold, have fun, dream. And both of those were stamped and um, heat embossed. And I just fussy cut everything else out. Some paint and chips with texture in them. Some with sandstone. Some with brush suede and Venetian paste and stuff like that. So I just want to show, like, I wanted this one to be more textured because this was about materials. And, and I put them all on the back, two paint chips and stuff as well. And then what I did in this one, I did eight different layouts that I saw in the paint section that was by Valspar. And I thought also it was actually kind of like a teaching tool for her. So I stuck it in some of the pages. Like this one was creative and what it had up here to have like what a creative room would look like if you decorated that way. Some tips on um, using that particular style and some paint chips for the colors. Um, that would go with and the types of textures that would go with it. So I did it for creative and then there was one called Easy Style and then maybe about 20 pages later or something I did another one. This one was um, Glamour and on the back of Glamour was Global and I even learned some stuff about interior design myself because I remember, think I remember my mom telling me this years ago about 60, 10, and 30, 60 percent is your dominant color, which is usually your wall coloring, and then your intermediate coloring, which is about 30 percent of the room. That would be your ceilings, your your large furniture, your flooring, your carpet, and window treatments, and then 10 percent would be your accent color, like your pillows, your vases, and your artwork. So that's how you lay out your room. So you know, I may not be an interior designer, but I do know a little bit. Because I can read. Haha. <laughs> anyway, so then the next one was um, natural. So that's what a natural room might look like and some of the stuff. And then um, this one was serene. And that one was techno. And then the last one in here was traditional. So anyway, this book one was for her to just kind of get some ideas and some inspiration when she's trying to do a layout and design what type of materials, the things they incorporated, what type of colors would go with that particular client that she might use. So the other ones, I didn't make them as involved or in detail. The next one was for her, oh, excuse me. And on this one, I put the word materials, which she couldn't even find because it was so <laughs> blended in. Um, this one was um, her kitchen and bath. And this one, I just used pattern paper on the back. And then um, fussy cut some things with kitchens and baths and toilets and sinks and organization styles and microwaves. So... Just some appliances and some things that you would find in kitchen and baths that you would need. And this one is for her Eco Go Green class. Um, just some eco-friendly symbols that companies would use and environmentally safe stuff. Um, so that was for the Go Green. Again, just pattern paper on the back. And then the last one I did was for her rendering class. So that's, that's what a rendering is, like that. And then, of course, this is some of the drafting because she has to do CAD drafting as well. Now, see, I used to want to be an architect, so we kind of go hand in hand. I told her about that. So anyway, um, 
This is for her rendering class, and she has one of the classes online that I didn't do, didn't do a uh, composition book for. So I didn't do anything with the last couple of books on the inside because there was so much work doing the other one, but it was fun. So anyway, I just want to say thanks for watching, and I just thought it would be a neat way to send her back off to college um, with some notebooks, and I'm surprised that she actually liked them and she actually took them to class. Because, <laughs> you know, as you get older, sometimes kids don't want to you know, enjoy some of your crafty stuff, but I find the older she's getting, the more she actually likes my crafting stuff. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for all my subbies. I appreciate your comments and your support. God bless and take care. Bye-bye.